Hi everyone, today I will be talking about how to get your toddler into a routine and to help her go to sleep at night. So basically what I do is, Rosie's 19 months old, she's actually napping downstairs right now. Um, she naps for around an hour in the day, so I do try and let her have one hour um, just to make sure she's got that energy to make it throughout, throughout the day because otherwise if she sleeps too long in the day she won't go to bed and same if she doesn't have a nap so I find that's really important to let them have a nap um, otherwise they will struggle they'll get overtired they'll refuse to go to bed and that's not what you want or what she wants or he wants so in Rosie's routine she has a routine now where she has to go for a nap around 1 12 o'clock if she doesn't she'll know she won't have a nap if it gets to 4 o'clock and she won't have a nap I won't let her have a nap, but then she does tend to wake up in the night, so it's a lose-lose situation. I then let her go to sleep around 9. She does go to sleep pretty late for a toddler, but that works for us, so that's how we do it. She wakes up around 9 as well, so she does get a long sleep, which is good and perfect for us. Um, she, We tend to get her in her pyjamas half an hour before she goes to bed, just so she knows she's getting into a routine every day to go to bed at that time next i try and she has milk at night as well so she has milk also she'll have she still has a bottle which we're trying to get her off but it's really difficult so any tips please leave below because we need them um yeah she does have we started when she was a little newborn baby we started doing the white noise please i can't stress enough don't do it it makes things so difficult she has to have it on every time she goes to bed now and that's no words for lie i don't know how to wean her off it because she just won't go to sleep so it's not good for both of you because my ipad runs out of battery and then we're stuff for the next day if she wants to watch something so that's not good um, tip number, I've lost count. So moving on to the next advice anyway. She has a bath. So every other night she has a bath. And after her bath, we get her straight into her pyjamas. So we get her into pyjamas. She goes downstairs, has quiet time. We read her a book or a story and then she'll go to bed. Also, what helps is if they're teething, they are going to have problems at night. So, what we do, when she does go to bed, if she is teething, if her cheeks are red or she's a bit aggy and moody, we give her cow pole. And this normally sends her through the night. So, yeah, cow pole's amazing. Also, what else is helpful is if they do wake up in the night, don't give up. Do not give up. That's my one word of advice. Don't give up. Because if you give up, they will start doing that all the time and, and it will get really repetitive. And you'll, you know, you're not getting any sleep. She's not going to get any sleep. So it'll be moody all around the next day. So that's what we try to do. Um, we also try and... If she's not had a nap by five, she won't go to sleep at all. And then that's when the problems start happening as well. She'll wake up in the night and it's horrible for all of you. Um, okay, so I think I finished talking to you about that. Obviously, do let them go to bed at the same time every night. That way they'll know when they're going to bed. They'll have sort of sense like it's nearly bedtime soon. Um, try and make them up on the same day if they don't wake up before you, obviously. Um... That helps getting them in the routine so you know basically, you know around when they're going to wake up, they're going to nap and when they're going to go to bed. You will know that by then. Um, yes, I think that's all done now. If you have any tips, please leave them below. Obviously, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for daily videos and more how-to videos. Thanks, see you next time guys. Bye.